fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What's up, What's y'all? going on, guys? We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Back with the Graham Norton Show. Part three. Of Try Not to Laugh. Want to be sure I got that right. Graham Norton, not, not Graham Norton. I'm, unfortunately, just, it's it's programmed in me to say Graham. It's going to happen. Because that's how they spell Graham Cracker. So. Yeah, Graham Cracker. So, uh, <laughs> I can't change that. Yeah, we you you know right up front we're going to lose the whole... Oh, yeah. Try this is not laugh. a challenge. This is more... Let's laugh with them. Yeah, it's enjoyment. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Let's do it. And can you look at a cartoon and come up with a voice? Well, like with Happy Feet, I, uh, I got to be... Robin like, I played two different characters. Initially three, but then the, the, there were that the one voice sounded too familiar. But when I got to play an Argentinian penguin... <laughs> <laughs> the little machismo penguin, you know, the, the guys, the Argentinian guys were going, what do you, do you know you want it? <laughs> What are you looking at? You know you want it. Look at it. Don't be afraid of the flippers. I love you. I brought you some pebbles. There's some bling, baby. You want some bling? You know you do. Yes, you're hot, and you know I got a beak that'll make you feel so good. <laughs> and then you had, like, all the crazy ones, you know? <laughs> then you had the crazy ones. <laughs> Listen, talking about animation, uh, we got people in our audience uh, to, to draw cartoons oh, right. of themselves. Oh, no. <laughs> now, I'm sensing, I'm sensing <laughs> self-esteem issues. Well, uh, let's see. Now, oh, no. Now, God forbid, when I ask to see this woman in the audience, that she looks like this. <laughs> Martin, you better not put that up on a camera. <laughs> 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 on the stage. <laughs> Be on you like shit on Velcro. <laughs> God, rest in peace, rest Robin. Rest in peace, Robin. Man, man. like it, it's just like it's controlled chaos. Like he, it, it's always the perfect amount of comedy with Robin Williams. Robin, he is a main character. Yeah, he controlled the space around him. Yeah, even if he wasn't the main character, even he was the main wasn't. character. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, show the picture. This is the lady. <laughs> now, her name is Jane Hayes. Jane Hayes? Now, let's have a look at Jane in the flesh. Jane? Jane, you're beautiful, Jane. <laughs> Jane, you're not a, a gay black basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, spare a thought for Sally Jenkins, and I think her husband. Look at Sally. <laughs> Sally suffers from paperclip tits. Oh. <laughs> Sally, you look quite buxom. <laughs> With your funny little terrier ears. Look at you. Oh, and, and for some reason, you, you've drawn a penis on your own face. <laughs> Done that. She's done a penis with two tiny balls. <laughs> and what are those? Those are, well, I don't know. There's two upside down bells. <laughs> oh my god. Is that your husband, Dave? <laughs> that, is that you? Yeah. yeah. What, and you, are, you, are you naked as well? Yeah. What's that oh. strange line? <laughs> yeah, but more importantly, what's peeking out here? <laughs> are those your two balls going, I'm down here? <laughs> You have an accordion for a neck. <laughs> yes. What the fuck is that? What's with the neck? We were drunk. <laughs> I don't know. We were drunk. We were drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who else have I got? I got oh, actually, I quite like to see this woman. Uh, Stephanie Jack. Where's Stephanie Jack? Hello, Stephanie Jack. <laughs> now, there's Stephanie Jack in the flesh, and here she is in the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> A great Japanese anime character. <laughs> it's a teacher lot to come to your house. <laughs> she has a big eyes to come to your house with a larger breast. Open the door with her nipples. Wait a second, sorry. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Oh what? god bless him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm a Mr. Bouncing Breast. Follow the Bouncing Breast. <laughs> wow. Mm. That's kind of one. Can I have this one? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> I've been on the road for a while. <laughs> Why were you having the... Was it a oh, deep wow, tissue wow, massage? Oh, wow, 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 the, the contrast between uh, Graham from the first it, clip to the second clip is like... We aged like 30 years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How long has this show been on? For a while, I guess. Man. 
Wow. Are you having the... Was it a deep tissue massage you were having? Where are you going with this, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> were you, having, were you having a Turkish massage or something? I don't know what it has to do with what we're talking about. But, but, uh, <laughs> it's a funny story, tell it. <laughs> <clears throat> I had an awful experience having a Turkish massage <laughs> oh, <shit>. where <laughs> this guy's idea of massage was to, like, take my le one leg and, and the other arm and try and connect it oh. on my back. And I was kind of like, you know, like that. Oh. And then I... Well, his belly went in my mouth. Oh! oh. <laughs> it was like a little Borat moment. Yeah. Oh. And you know when you get something weird in your mouth and you're like, if you're eating something, you go like, you send your, your brain sends your tongue to figure out what it is? <laughs> oh, God. Ew! It's not a conscious thought. It's just like, is that a bone? Figure that out. <laughs> my, my tongue goes in to figure it out. Oh, God. My tongue was like, what is that? <laughs> it's a hairy belly. <laughs> Uh, it's like you're heading off a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Amelia Clark, did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia oh. Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. <sighs> He's iconic. He is iconic. I, I was more of a Seinfeld person myself, but you know what? Fred, you, you know, it doesn't matter which of the, uh, I would say, Three at the time, three juggernauts of sitcoms were going uh -huh. on. Uh, you you can't deny the man. Yeah. Uh, you can't deny Friends. Yeah, as, yeah. As you can't deny how you doing. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh shit. It's iconic. Yeah. yeah. So let we'll let her have it. Yeah. Uh, wasn't she from Game of Thrones or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I so. Okay. Yeah. I didn't watch Game of Thrones, so I I can't. I, I only got to like season three. Season three, and I was like, I was Game of Thrones out. Oh, okay. okay. So, all right. Hi. 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 <laughs> I'm actually blushing. Um, yeah, but just think you're wicked. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's a game of two halves. I, I think Dominic's wicked. Oh. Oh. <laughs> baby yes. in the corner. Are you returning the favor? Do you watch Game of Thrones, Matt? I watched it the first season, and then I kind of fell out of it, and then I tried to watch it this that's season. Okay, that's okay. And I don't know that's what's okay. going on. I feel There's so lots bad. of stuff going on. There's so yeah. much going on. There is. There really is. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's all I mean, right. I could lie, but I don't want to lie. I'm no, lie. no, no, no. You've seen the good. You've seen the good bits. You've seen the first season. <laughs> oh! oh! Wow! Oh! What is it? It's season six now. It's season six. And it's bigger than ever. Yeah. Whose laugh is that? <laughs> Sounds like a chicken has been released in the studio. That's not they can't be. No. That a, I, I thought it was going to stop because I thought there was a mechanical fault with something. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a human being. <laughs> oh, it's that man there. All right, well, I'm glad you're having that a nice way. time. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck it up. I will. I will. I, will watch, so, I promise. I know, no, I know. I do have one slight request from you, though. What's uh, that? Um, so, would you, would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. I told you it was iconic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Even even he's gonna I, she's gonna ask that even after he shit all over her show. Yep. I mean yeah. she kind of agreed, so yeah. I I don't know. I don't I, know. I, I, that, but, oh man. All right. Man. <laughs> you you can say no. Everyone will hate you, but you can say no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, well, since I you know. I haven't been up on, up to speed on the show. I will, yes, I will say, thank uh, you. Yeah, how are you doing? <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 yeah. It works. Yes, it did. <laughs> There's some things where so they will. Hold on, they... hold on, hold on, hold on. Is is do you think that would get exhausting? What would get exhausting? You know, you're known for that one thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, not not just that one thing, but everyone knows that. Yeah. How you do with it? Like, uh -huh. Do you think that would ever just get? I'm more than that. Do yeah. you ever just get exhausted of it? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, you might take one look at your bank statement and be like, no, how I'm not tired of you it. You ask the bank, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, great. Exactly. <laughs> Things where they will play music, maybe a bit of If it's a wide shot and it's not like a... It, so it's the closest we get to sort of kind of sort of just sort of going for it in one piece um, and they'll play music or something. 
And my temptation is always just to try to make the coda laugh. So sometimes I'll do things like when there's a moment where I'm meant to, you know, orgasm, I'll be like, do 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 do. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, people do that. Wait, what? <laughs> That's the Fifty Shades of Grey guy. Yeah, yeah. Inter it was just like, oh, when I'm meant to work, like, who is that? Uh, okay, got it. Shite. Got it. I'm, I'm tracking that. Uh -huh. okay. They should. It's like a Ryanair flight. When a Ryanair flight lands, it goes, People travel. You know, they collect things, postcards, dolls, and national dress. But you collect. Like animals, like like living animals. Well, no, I don't collect them. I rescue them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, did you rescue anything when you were in Sicily and Tuscany? Not in that one, but in the movie I did right after in Bulgaria, I, I did. Okay. And I had I had promised my husband I was gonna stop because at the time I had ten dogs. Five parrots, uh, I had alpacas, <laughs> horses, uh, cats, and by the way, one without a tail, the other one without a leg, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they always, they find me, they come to me, these animals, which he doesn't believe me, but they do, and I promise him no more, okay? <laughs> We were up to 30 animals. I, I, I swear no more. <laughs> and, and I was there, and a little puppy who was abandoned and was going to die. I won't tell you the sad story because it's a comedic show and I'll start crying. <laughs> he came to me and I couldn't help him and I picked him up. And um, his name is Ochoa after the, the goalie of the soccer team in Mexico. It was a welcome. And I took him and then I was terrified. How am I going to explain this to my husband? I promised, I promised. And um, so I came up with this brilliant idea to pretend that I was having an affair. Mm. <laughs> Then, oh, uh, no, with somebody to make him think I was having an affair, and at the end I would say, No, it's not an affair. I picked up a dog, and then he would feel better. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's extreme. Uh, yeah, that's. Holy crap. Uh, see? Uh, see, that's how women will get you, man. They know how to, like. Oh! <laughs> they know how to get, get you in your soul, man. Tell me how you really feel. Good God, man. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that uh, I'm, I'm having an affair. D Ruin his life for seconds and then bring up a puppy. Yeah, to justify the puppy. Oh. I up a dog this is clever. It's good, I, good, good plan, good plan. So I left him a message. You must call me at this time. We need to talk. It's very important. Mm. And I never do that. And this time, okay, what happened? What happened? And I said, listen, I feel so terrible. I don't know how to say this to you. And I, I know this is not, not going to go down well. And I'm really nervous. And please have mercy on me. Have, have oh, patience. Shit. Be understanding. It's just, it's been so stressful. And I'm so tired. And I was so lonely here for so oh, many days. And you have to do <laughs> crazy things when you're in this state. And he said to me, Oh, please don't tell me you picked up another dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he Fuck knew him. her too. He wow. knows her. Oh, oh man. man, that's <laughs> epic. That's epic. Probably would have been better if she just told him he was cheating. <laughs> yeah, like okay, what if, what if felt at least, more, less at least worse. it's not a dog. Yeah, at least it's not a dog. Taking care of a farm of animals. Ugh. Goodness, man. The things you can do is you can conjure up uh, people's fears. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you, you're afraid of quite basic things. You I'm yourself. afraid of like most things, like anything high risk. I'm terrified of. But, but those are rational things. Okay, irrational is like spiders, because but they actually, um, I become paralyzed when I when I have a spider in my room. Really? Yeah. I like wish I were tougher than that, but I'm not. Okay. <laughs> now, Mark Ruffalo, were you serious when you told us what your fear is? I mean, it is. A, it's a good fear. It's, I think it's a founded fear. I think it's a founded fear. It is. Tell us what it is. Um, I have a phobia of being chased around with poop on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's what you call common sense. Yeah, I would be afraid of that as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and In fact, that... I've lived my life 
avoiding that one situation. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Who's chasing the Hulk around with poop on a stick? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say... I'd say we've all got that fear. <laughs> <laughs> There's no right. one that goes, it, no, I'm up for that. It's, <laughs> it started when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> It was just weird it's parenting. Fine, <laughs> For some reason, kids thought it was funny to stick a stick in dog poop and chase each other around with it. What? But that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> because of the cleanliness problem of it? Like no, because Like spreading it's poop. germs? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's just dog poop. Because it's afraid of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jeremy Renner, though, yours is brilliantly specific, and I think we, it I, without it knowing it, I think we probably all share it. We, we may. I don't know. I, I didn't have the, the fear when I was younger because we've all we all go through this. But it's when uh, a little child and I'm the, I'm the oldest of seven kids and I got a lot of little rugrats running around and they, these little roaches start losing their teeth and they get a little wiggly and they like to show me like this little dagger flipping in and out of their mouth and like look Uncle Jeremy want to pull this thing out. I'm like I get out of here. You're freaking me out. Oh, oh, oh. Hell yeah. Do you think that is really freaky? Are you? you it's like I mean, her thumb. <laughs> it's just really yeah. just again. Yeah. It just really yeah. kind of grosses me out. The cutest little thing on the planet starts to do like the creepiest thing on the planet. And I'm like, get out of here. Like, here, tie the string to my thing, to the doorknob. I'm like, get out of here, creep. Disgusting. Oh, at this stage. That's uh, now. No. <laughs> oh. Little ones running around, flipping their little fake, their teeth <laughs> falling out. Look, we all have those, you know, when you're, you're, you have the dreams, your teeth fall out. I don't know what it means. Does anybody know what it means? We get bigger ones. <laughs> no, we have bad dreams. We have... Oh. Am I the only oh. one that has bad no, dreams? No, a friend of mine. A friend of mine just had that dream too. I just had, just a friend of yours. Yeah, not me. Not what not does you? that mean? I think that's I don't something know. to do with I don't know, but this is change. Fear of money, I think. I think that's what the teeth Who has fear out. of money? <laughs> I'm maybe I'm, maybe of I'm anything. just afraid of my teeth fucking falling out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh shit. That is interesting. Having a fear of your teeth, like, uh, I, I've never had that dream. Have you I, had I, that no, dream? No, but I'm about to, I guess, when do you start losing teeth? Like seven, eight? Yeah, or Wait, five. Five, five six, seven. Anyway, I'm about to be in that. Yeah, you're about to experience that. Oh, God, that. so I'll, I will get back with me on that. Yeah, my, my six-year-old, is it, what's it, six? Six-year-old nephew is uh, starting to lose his oh. teeth. And and it, it's weird just hearing like one of your third mission. Oh yeah. no no uh, I don't know I could I can see that though I can uh -huh. see that's that's really freaky. Yeah yeah. Oh. Now what's your fear? Do you have a fear? Because they're discussing fears. Um. I'll I guess it. any kind of like claustrophobic. <laughs> Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. Yeah. But like intense, like like being buried alive. Okay. Like okay. that 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 idiot abroad episode. Yeah. I would that I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah. Not not in a storage unit here. No, like, this no, is no, fine no, for no, you. no, no, no. This is yeah. Fine. Yeah. Fine. I guess mine is like fear of heights. Like fear of roller coasters specifically. I've I feel like I've talked about it on this channel before. I saw de the final destination three where they died on the roller coaster and it fucked me up for life. But but I feel like that death comes pretty quick. It it, it does, but I don't want it to happen to me. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, true. <laughs> true, true. So your 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 fear is really death on roller coasters. Yeah, or falling off From, a building. Oh yeah, that that to me. That, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's terrifying too. That's yeah. Okay, there we All go. Right. Claustrophobia heights. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Now, Josh, what are you afraid? What are you afraid of? Well. I was gonna go with flying, but I think I'll go with um, girls shit. over twelve. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Oh That's it for God. me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. The last minute of my life, I wouldn't have predicted that. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Mark 
Ruffalo. You're not going to believe what he said to me. <laughs> but he was bang on the money. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Do you know what? I've always hated the Hulk. He's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Too shit. Yeah, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Ruffalo. <laughs> I, my son said that to me the other day when he was mad at me. <laughs> oh, no. What, that you wouldn't like him? Anyway? I always hated the Hulk. I think he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is the hold that the Spice Girls have uh, over you? Is this uh, real? Yes, it's real. And, and I just feel like I've been talking more about the Spice Girls on this press tour than I have about the movie. <laughs> you wept, you wept I in did Australia. Weep. I know, I wept. Did you really weep? I really did. But now, which one was talking to you? Mel B. And was she really talking to you or was it a message? No, it was a video message on an iPad. And that made you cry? <laughs> yes. What, were you jet lagged? Yes. <laughs> but I also, you don't, under, I mean, I, you do understand because uh, we're in the UK. Yeah. I was... I was a fiend. I was obsessed with the Spice Girls. And they taught me about girl power. Mm. And I love them. I think they're fantastic. What's and the, I'm. What's the song? There's so many, Jamie. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> Spice up your life. Every boy and every girl. Spice up your life. Hey. Hey. There there you go. And they're so fantastic. And today on the radio, um, Mel C talked to me over Skype. Oh, wow. Oh. So it's really very exciting. Okay, now, who would you say is your favorite Spice Girl? Emma Bunton, Ooh. Baby Spice. She's your favorite. She's okay. my favorite. Who's next? <laughs> oh. oh. That's like picking your favorite child if you're Ooh. a fan of a girl group or a boy band or whatever. Oh, man. You, you, you don't do that. You don't Plus, separate them. Get them all or nothing. Yeah, they'll they'll come after you yeah, on they will. <laughs> on that. They will cancel you. Oh God. I only know this because um, late twenty twenty, uh, Sturgill Simpson came out with a bluegrass record, and I posted about it. And apparently, because it was doing better than some K-pop group, I tweeted about it and put my phone down, went to go cook dinner, and then thirty minutes later, I get like five, six different notifications of. K-pop stands just getting at me Ooh. for liking it. So, I think this... I hope she doesn't go out and oh, list them man. all. Because that is like <sighs> social media doom for her. Yep. To that... Just a question. All of the other four. <laughs> so, Emma there. Bunton... Well, Emma Bunton was the one that I had blonde hair and bangs, and my name obviously is now Emma. My name was Emily, but it was taken... Oh, and I became an actor, um, and so <laughs> now it's Emma, and uh, yeah, I just, I, I love... So get me this, so, so you, one gave you a video message, and one talked to you on Skype. Yes. But are you telling me you've never met are you a Spice do, Girl? Are you going to do something right Have you never met a Spice Girl? Are you going to do something really? Have you never met a Spice Girl? I'm, wait, hold on. Uh-oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You've never met a Spice Girl? <laughs> Not in the flesh. Okay. Now, as Don't. you know, as you know, as you know, Emma, it is very rare, it is very rare for more than one Spice Girl to appear together <laughs> for any reason at all. So, they're not here. <laughs> Good All one, right. Graham. All right, Graham. He fucking got jokes. He's oh. got. Oh, he was. She had it. He had that her. That was a perfect. Oh, that was. Like, that was the perfect ending. I right thought. There. I thought. I. He got me too. Yeah, I thought. I thought. I, I, thought I was like, oh shit. They're Spice coming out. Girls. They're coming out. Oh, Whew. Graham Norton. You know this is two thumbs up. Yeah, this is great, man. And we gotta keep on going, going <laughs> on this train of he Graham will, he, Graham Norton. He will be on the. On the channel many times. Yeah, until we can't know more. Yep. Whew. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Till next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And unplug and do something epic. See y'all next time. Later. <laughs>